Hi there. My name is Sandy, and I am an artist based in Scotland.、Um, my mission is to find out a way for all the crafters and artists to get out of the level of being starving. You know, starving artists. I don't think we should be starving. So I'm trying to use all of the business ideas, business experience I've had in my life、um, to merge it. Uh, in a way that can be useful for all the crafters and artists. And, and today's video is make for everyone who think who who's looking for Christmas gift ideas or looking for extra income for Christmas. Because、uh, I use this method, I've made、um, a Christmas、uh, special silk scarf, and they are all sold out. That's why I'm confident they will sell. They will sell, and they will be popular if you make it for your friend or for your family.、Um, and today, this video going to I'm going to make it from my kitchen because I know not everyone have a art studio, but everyone hopefully will have a, a kitchen. So I'm going to show you how I'm turning the kitchen table into a silk dye table. And now I'm in the kitchen because I want to encourage you to do it in your kitchen, and I want to encourage you to overcome those excuses in your head, like,、uh, "Oh, my kitchen is too small, and I can't make it. I'm not very a crafter, and I don't have the creative talent." So I'm going to show you what my kitchen really looks like right now. Here you go. This is a dish from yesterday. Haven't、uh, put away yet, and this、uh, everything I used this morning to make him pack lunch. And so it's really an ordinary kitchen, and it's not very big.、Uh, I'm going to tidy it up and make it、um, workable for the silk dye moment. Okay, bear with me. Okay, now my kitchen is finished. Let's start to prepare the table. As I promised, how to turn my table. The kitchen table as a silk dye table. Okay. So in this kitchen, what we're going to need is、uh, this table and a clean sink. The sink will be、uh, using to rinse the dyed silk scarves and、uh, some tin foil. Clean the table with a wet cloth. And、um, just after, make sure everywhere it's、uh, evenly wet, because then I will use that washer to stick this on tin paper on it. Okay, I'm going to use a dry cloth. See, like that. It's it's just like you glue it on, but it's not stick. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to do this to the whole table. Some water on this. Because、okay. this one got no water, and then it's kind of loose. I want to put water in there too.
push the air out. It's a little bit like uh, when you put your uh, screen protector on the phone. to put some water here to glue it. Perfect. Soak dye can stand furnitures. So um but from my experience, they were, they were, they were, they will eventually be cleaned out. They won't last forever, but it took a long time. If you have very expensive furniture, you maybe you can uh, protect it before you put this. Maybe you can put extra layers. But for me, um, because my table surface is black, so I'm just putting one layer. That's enough for me. That will do the job. Okay, now we have the table ready. I'm going to get the silk scarf and then the colors I'm going to use. And then the tutorial will start them. Okay, let me introduce everything I have on the table. This is a silk, silk dye. I'm going to use two color for this scarf. And uh, these are barbecue stick, the bamboo or wooden one. You see how I use it? These are the cotton cloth. Um, I just ordered some, uh, you know, you can use your old pillowcase or your old clothes if it's cotton. And it, it's, um, it's necessary to use. Kitchen towel will not be, as, kitchen towel is also okay, but it's not as good as a, as a cotton uh, cloth. Um, here is a small hair, hair band, very like the, the, the smallest one uh, for, to do the tie dye. And here, uh, here is uh, vinegar, white vinegar, just regular vinegar. And I have my scarf here. This is a 25 by 150 silk scarf. Um, if you want to buy this, um, if you want to buy the kit from my website, I don't have any more small scarf in stock. The only one I have is a 35 by 180. So it's a slightly bigger size. Um, and, uh, and this is a um, regular glass bowl, salad bowl, whatever you call it, and a big one and a small one. Uh, or you can use uh, other bowls if you want to. Um, so, so the step one, I, I'm going to use, because this one is a lighter purple. So this is a lighter purple. This is a darker purple. And here is the color sample I made. Uh, that one when usually when when they when they're in the uh when they're in the bottle it's very hard to tell what the really color is so, so that's why i made the, those little uh color sample and okay that's all everything you need i also i will put a, a list on the in my description and you can find it um and yeah let's do it now For the small bowl, I fill a third of water in the bowl. No, it's too much. Uh, for this for this method, I want to I, I want to have my scarf. I will put a base layer of color. So I will dye the scarf one time, two times at least, maybe three times. It depends on how the pattern comes out. But um, but then first I want to give it a base color to avoid any white in the end. You know, like when you do tie dye on fabric, um, the place where you tied and it will leave something white. But for this design, I don't want to have any white left on the silk scarf. So I'm going to uh, base dye this one first. So this is my lighter color.
for this. Uh, so the first one, I just put a little bit of water and some vinegar. It's really, it's um, usually it's like um, two parts of water, one part of vinegar. So, okay, I also do the same to this big bowl. This big bowl, so later on, th so this one will be first time I will dye the whole scarf with that purple. I find the best way to dye your silk scarf evenly is to leave it there, let, let, let the silk absorb the color to the to to the thread so just do it like that so you see now the purple look um, like quite dark it's not dark, it's light, but after it's dried up, it will be even lighter. I just leave it there, soak for a minute. Now prepare the microwave. I have this microwave a glass plate. This is the, the microwave plate. And I will put one, one, two layers of the fabric and the cotton sheets on top and now the cotton sheets here is to absorb extra dyes instead of the dye um, to like, sitting on the glass and then will absorb back to the uh, fabric and then it, that will create uneven color patterns so put it loose just like that now I'm going to put it in the microwave for three minutes. I have a very small uh, microwave and uh, it is um, 700 watt. Uh, so I'll put it in three minutes. If your microwave is much hotter, uh, 900, 100, or 1,020, or 1,200, you need to test it out. Maybe you should put less time. I mean, you, I'm going to put it in high and do it for three minutes three and a half minutes okay when i used to have a bigger microwave i was only doing it for three minutes but for this little microwave i do it for three and um three and a half minutes you really need to test out to avoid and burn the silk i did burn silk more than one time okay now it's dry and you can see there's a very light purple so at least it will not leave me any white color okay so now we have the base color i like to fold this before i wet it because it's much easier if i fold it first i give it a very quick ironing so i can fold it better and um yeah i like to fold it before i put it before I, I put it uh, back to the, um, the, to wet it again before putting color on. Because it's a nightmare to try to straighten up to fold a wet silk scarf. It's gonna fold it like this. The pattern I have in my mind is I want to make them straight lines. But I also need to bear in mind, you need to fold it the way your microwave can you know, you can put it back to the microwave if it's too big and then uh, it's hard to put back to the microwave. Now my one look like this. So I'm just going to fold it one more time so I can wet it. Yeah. Soak it completely. Put, pushing it down, let it absorb so it will wet evenly inside just press it gently here and now i fold it it's small to squeeze it. the extra water i don't need the water and uh, silk no water and vinegar mixture so i just when you squeeze you know your silk scarf be gentle with it don't try to twist it very hard and then 
you really uh, destroy the fab the fabric. Okay. Now, open it back up. I'm going to put dye. Now I'm going to put this. See how it works. Uh, let me have a think. See how thin it is. Now. I just wonder if that's too big for my microwave plate. Seems all right. Okay. So let's do it then. Looks like I'm going to need more than two sticks. So I want one line, two line, three line, four line. Okay, I want four line. I want the edge to be different color. Now I'm just planning. I want the edge to be darker and then here as a line. Yeah, that's why I want to make it. Okay, let's do it. Break in the middle. Can't work with <laughs> with this glove. Have some hair bubble. Tie it. I feel it's too thin a little bit. Mm, I want to maybe make it thicker. So what I will do? I will fold it again. Can't make it too thick. It's um, it will burn the middle if it's too thick. The hair band will, will break in the in the microwave, but it doesn't matter. We just need to need to hold it for a very short time. If you don't want it to break, you can use cotton, uh, cotton or sew, sewing line to tie it up. I just do it like this because it's convenience. Because when I dye a lot of scarf and when I'm making it as a product, I need to think about the time cost. But if you just do it at home, do a few for you know for a family, and you you can just tie it up so the, it will stay tight even when you go put it in the microwave. Now I have divided this silk in five space into five. What I will do? Oh, it's my blocks. So I want the edge to be dark. So dark light, no dark light, not dark light, dark light. That will be the plan. I just put which one's light? This one. Now it's very simple. The most difficult part to have done, we we'll just do this, which we'll is make the edge very dark.
It's like a watermelon pattern when it's finished. I changed my mind halfway. Now I'm just gonna do this. Draw a line here. Draw a line here. Do the same to here, this. This is a lighter color just to push out. The light color, the light silk dye always push back the darker ones. So I'm just going to use it here. Now I'm going to flip it over, but then I'm not, not going to put it back to the same place. I'm going to put it in a different spot. So here, hold it. Okay, I'm going to move the camera closer. I like to use this to draw a straight line. I have a feeling it's going to look so pretty. I tell you this, it's so hard, it's very difficult to make an ugly silk scarf. Mm, I have never made an ugly, I mean hand dye. I have made a lot, oh no, I can't say I never. I have made some very ugly um, silk scarf, but I have to try very hard to make them ugly. If you don't try too hard, usually they will look pretty. But if you want to, if you sometimes try too hard, it will look ugly. Now, okay. I'm just gonna make them, um, just press some of the color down. So to cover the white, not white, you know, the very light, light part. I want to be as even as possible. I'm going to use my finger. But if you use a finger for the dark side, dark, no, dark side, um, yeah, the dark color, and use a different finger for the lighter part. And then back, light. Okay, that's it. I'm going to put it back to the microwave. Let's have a look at the other side. I right, look at very nice right now I put it in back in here let's put it back to the microwave three minutes and half I'm just gonna check in the middle now it's like um, almost two minutes I want to check how 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 it look now maybe flip it over to the other side Lose it up a little bit. 
Sometimes, if it's too tight, the middle is too tight, squeezed together, it will likely to burn. You know, like、uh, because the heat all gathered in the middle, and then it will it will burn that part. So you can open it halfway and check it. Okay. Now let's look. If if it's dry, see all all the uh this plastic uh hell band they broken, and the, the extra dye get to flow、uh, absorbed to this. See, did it? Can you see this very uh very dark lines like that? If you don't have the uh this, if we don't put that down. This uh, this line will end up on the scarf instead of um here. Now this is dry. <laughs> it's do you like this straight pattern? You see what I mean here? What when the middle? If if I didn't dye the if I didn't put the first the base color, this this part will be white. And now I'm going to wash it and iron, and then we can see the result. This is cold water. Remember to use cold water. You can just run through it. Can you see the water in the bowl? It's clean. That means your color is fixed. If it's a little bit, like if you can, if you see very careful, it's a little bit color losing. It lost a little bit of color. That's very very normal. If it's not, if it, when you as soon as you put down a lot of color losing, you take it out, take it up again, put it back to the microwave, and then fix the color again. Usually, if you when you take it out from the microwave, if the silk scarf is dry, um, basically that that means the color is fixed. Now, so don't squeeze it very hard, and um. I'm going to iron this. Okay, so the best way to iron silk is to lay down、uh, when it's when it's after you know you squeeze the water out, and then I will like I usually like to use a big towel. I, I use light color towel, white color towel because, and then if any if the silk got any color, I can I can see. How how much color is coming off, and I'm ironing it. Um, this is a pillowcase. I put it on top of this uh a、uh, towel, so it will because if I um if I iron it directly on this texture, this will be cut like you know this texture will be left it on your silk so. So your silk will look bumpy. So now I put this uh uh cut the the, the pillowcase to avoid the texture. Now this step, you know, it's much easier when you do it yourself because I need to record it and、uh, so it's make it twice as hard. Now I'm gonna just open it a little bit. Pat, that's that's the water absorb. Let's absorb the actual water. I don't know why I still have the gloves. I really don't like to do things with gloves,、uh, except when I'm seasoning meat or steak. Well, if you order this kit from my、uh, website, well, it's not on yet. I just. Um, I'm just like this idea just come to me right now. You can order it from your local supplier, but if you can't find the local supplier, you want to have what exactly I'm having. I'm thinking about putting up. I'm thinking about putting up a kit just to make it convenient for you. If I can make the time, I hope I will. Usually, if I say I'll do something, I do it.、Um, now. It's like it's very. It's not dry, but it, you can see it now. It's you can. Oh, I can open it. Means it's easier now to open it. So, 
I find the best way to iron your scarf is after you absorb the color. Oh no, sorry, <laughs> to absorb the, the the water, and not when it's completely dry. When it's like moisture like this, so in the, when it's like this condition, you can get rid of all the crisps, crisps, crisps. I don't know. You know what I mean? Those, those. <laughs> I always found that confusing. Crisp is the something made of potato, like potato. It's like a snack, right? Crisps. But what's this? Crisp. Forgot to switch it. The socket on the power on. So, um. Remember to set up the setting to turn off the steam function. You just need to go slow, and then here, when I pull the edge straight, and that. And iron the edge first, and then move to the middle slowly, and then move to the other edge and pull the edge, make it straight. Just repeat that until the whole scarf is dry. One, one is the number that I